Welcome to Jusant. This is an action puzzle game that's all about climbing. It's made by Don't Nod Entertainment, creators of Remember Me and The Life is Strange, among many other things. The climbing mechanics are very different from anything I've experienced before, so I have played it for about 15 minutes or so, just to get a bit used to the controls, because it does take some getting used to. Let's begin. Jusant, a French nautical term for a receding tide. Chapter 1, Daymark. Jusant is super pretty. Right, so, the world we inhabit. Obviously there's something very, very wrong with it. The sea seems to have dried up. The water level used to at least be up to here, at one point. game, as far as I know, is all about just ascending this unbelievably massive tower. I can't even look anymore up. I can't even see the top. I don't know how far this thing goes, but <laughs> literally as far as the eye can see. Anyway, so our first goal seems to be that very interesting structure that's been... Has it been carved out of the stone, or is it built on top of it? I'm not sure. all these like corally growth things. I 
They seem to be living. Have they adapted? Okay, so here's where we get to the climbing. So if I want to grip onto this with my left hand, I press the left trigger. And then I want to grip the one just above me, the rung just above me with my right hand. So I have to try to search for it with the stick. And then I use right trigger to grab onto it. Now that I'm grabbing with my right hand, I can release left trigger, release my left hand. Then I reach up for the next one. Press down the left trigger or left hand, right trigger or right hand. And yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. Hand over hand. And you can grab, well, anything within reach. So there's, it's not just like a, you know, a strict path of which way you need to go. It's, it's really quite fluid. I could grab there. Yeah. Uh, the icon displays the rope's main carabiner. When full, it means the rope is wound in. When empty, the rope is attached to a wall. So it's attached right now. And we just wound it in. Carabiners automatically secure the climb and show you the right path to take. Yeah, this is very, very easy to climb. How fast can I go? Oh, that's satisfying. I love all these little crab creatures around. I wish I could zoom in. I wish I had binoculars or something. I want to see them up close. Oh, and look at these lanterns. They're like... Yeah, they're little lighthouses, I think. So cute. Okay, this is where things get a little bit more interesting. Three small icons represent secondary... You know, I've heard that word before. Patons? Pittons? But I've never actually said it out loud. I think it's patons. So yeah, we have some patons that we can put into place. Basically create ourselves a little anchor. So our rope can be supported from that position. There we go. So now if we fell, like if I completely release my hands right now, we fall from there instead of from the right. So it's kind of like um, a progress save in a way. It's like a checkpoint. We can swing back and forth. Yeah, we can. Um, whoops. We can let out the rope and let it in. I don't know how far we can let it out. Can I just like go down here? How far can we go? <laughs> can we just keep going? Uh, it's flashing red. Oh, we're at our limit, okay. Yeah, such cool mechanics. Okay, so let's grab back onto the wall. Okay, so we can make a little jump. We also have a stamina bar. That's what just appeared on the right-hand side with the green. 
Right hand gauge represents your stamina. Monitor it and keep it topped up to prevent yourself from falling. So, yeah, we can keep it topped up by shaking out. <coughs> kind of shake our arm to get some blood flow going, relax it a little bit. Which is something that actual climbers do. If you want to, well, you can't rest both hands unless you can um, rest on your baton or, you know, on your rope. If you can't, if you're grabbing onto something, then you just keep one hand on the wall, the other hand off. Kind of shake it out a bit, let it rest. Swap and do the other one. There we go. It's very very satisfying. Shaking it out a little bit. So many fishing nets. Look at all this equipment. Um, yeah, this is where I stopped. I stopped before going up here, so I don't know anything that's coming next. Question comes to mind, can I place a baton anywhere I want, or is it only in pre-designated areas? Oh no! You can just put it wherever, huh? Oh, is that a note? That'll be the first note that I found. Another sleep turning over stones at the old delta. Harvest. Two belay stations for parts. A good catch. That should be enough to reopen the route to the old cape. Otherwise, it's all smooth sailing. A couple of old lanterns I think I can revive. Folks used to throw this stuff away. Oh, and I finally caught an old knitting machine for Ennio, who's been asking for one for cycles. Not in great shape, but we should be able to tinker with it. Still not sure how I'm going to haul it up to low tide, though. There's something kind of ironic about a place being above you that's called low tide. Note to self, stop doing business with Rim. All he does is dismantle my discoveries and sell them for parts in the heights. He claims to be a repairman, but he's nothing but a foam salesman, that's what. It sounds like maybe people primarily live up above and people only come down to scavenge? Oh, we still got a ways to go, huh? Quite a ways. Oh, hold on. 
Look at that windmill. Almost looks like it's made out of bird feathers. Part of it, anyway. Hold to place your main carabiner on the wall. The rope can be attached to most surfaces by holding down X. Can I just, like... No, it has to be on a wall. But yeah, pretty much any wall. But even a thing that's not really a wall. What if I just grab this without placing it? Ah, it places it automatically, so I don't, I don't think they allow you to just, um, free solo. <laughs> I don't think this is that sort of a game. This is an Alex Honnold simulator. Feels weird to climb down. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to release myself, aren't I? Yeah. Okay, this is... A little scary. I guess not that scary. We're on the rope the whole time. Hold on, down here. Is that just where I was before? Oh, it is. Yeah. That opens up the possibilities of areas that I could go to quite a bit. Because I could just place a... Uh, a baton pretty much anywhere and then just hang and then go down and then I can go really, really far to the left and right. Can I attach a baton while I'm doing this? Like that. Oh, you can! Oh, wow. You could go really far. How do, you lo how do you like my roping system? <laughs> Is this safe? Yeah, I think it doesn't let you fall down if you don't have a rope attached anywhere. Interesting. But yeah, that just goes down to where we've been, right? I gotta look for secrets. Yeah, it's just back down here. It's interesting. I wonder if this was retrofitted in here or if this place has just been built for climbing. I guess maybe everybody climbs.
Oh, I think it's repeating itself now. That's really cool. That's a really... That's a really cute mechanic. Like finding a memory of a place, but it's themed to match the world. Yeah, look at those carvings on the wall. Beautiful. What is this? Yiki, how are things at the sawmill? Business has been slow at the restaurant. Almost no one came to the last music night, even though people are climbing down from all over. I know we don't play the shells anymore, but still. I was thinking that adding scaffolding to the side of the upside down cliff might help steer passers by this way. I miss seeing a packed patio. Can you take care of it? I checked with Low Tide and everyone agrees. Hey, Mo. Listen, these things happen. I hope one day you'll ask me to do something besides taking boats apart to make ladders. Like if I'm free for a romantic dinner for two? Anyway, all good for your scaffolding, since the village approves. Don't have much wood to choose from after that new bath to the plane I had to build, but I still have a wreck or two left over. I'll get to it when the currents allow. I owe you one, thanks. You're the best. By the way... Do you ever run into old Sonya? I think she's rummaging around in your area right now. If you see her around, do you mind telling her I need a new hob for my oven? Mine's taking on water. In the meantime, set sail for the restaurant. I'm not sure how romantic it will be, but we can always share a half-cooked meal. Hmm. When they talk about setting sail and the currents, I think... I suspect they're talking about air currents. So what is that? It's a little... it's a little tube. So I guess... people... send it up and down to communicate with each other somehow. I wonder how. Carrier bird? Messenger? there be something up here? Can I just grab stuff? Like, what if I do that? Then can I grab stuff? No. No, I don't think I can go up there. Bye-bye. <laughs> They're so cute.
What is that? It's like a slice of what? Oh, look at those huge coral stalks in there. but I wonder if there's something down here? Fire. Oh no. No, we can't get up there. Shake it out for a second. swing. I mean, you can't really swing anywhere with it, but still. Imagine just sitting in that, just staring out. Terrifying and beautiful at the same time. These are indentations. Oh, A plus A to perform a double jump. Oh. Nice. It's kind of funny. Our jump when we're um, on the wall is really powerful, but when we're just walking around, when you jump, it's just this. It's like the world's tiniest little hop. Look at that distance off the ground. Wait, X to what? Oh! Cool.
think we need a jump here. Does that go anywhere on the left? Doesn't look like it. And when you get a rhythm going, it feels very nice. I'm wondering if I could grab these up here. have to do like a diagonal double jump. Yeah, I don't know if that's a thing. Well, only one way to find out, I guess. Oh, wow! Oh, I'm so proud of myself. Completely unnecessary. I'm sure it just like skips a little section which I want to go back for anyway. Oh, but look at these. So pretty. I bet they're spongy. They look like they'd be spongy. Oh! We're here! Okay, before that we gotta look back. to originally. That's really cool to be able to look down and see the previous places that you've been. Oh my god. There's so much neat wildlife. Ooh, a cairn. Adding to it. Lynn's gone to the heights to ask to extend the site. With the boss gone, the wind's gone out of our sails when it comes to digging. It's not such a bad thing. Lifting boxes, crates, and barrels is my area of expertise. But shifting their old stones? At the slightest pitch and roll, everyone's knees start quaking. Anyway, I was just getting used to the idea of working with archaeologists, making myself useful again, and already the work's dried up. I doubt it'll start up again. I don't see how we can move forward. How about you? How are things on low tide? Is Dee Dee still refusing to go to school? My love, I'm so happy to hear from you. We miss you so much, Dee says. I'm homeschooling her and I'm very much out of my depth. Do you remember the names of all the regions of the tower? I don't even remember learning that. I gave Dee a homework assignment about the old altar to keep her busy for a while. She is supposed to copy the design. I ended up going with her. It's been ages since I'd last ventured behind the village. 
I'd forgotten how dark it is. But you know Dee. She's gutsy. And she's enjoying diving into the past, just like you. Speaking of which, have your archaeologists finally found out how tides work? They've been digging for a while now. Get it? Do you know when you'll be able to come back up here? So this is a dig site. Ah, oh, the sound work is really fantastic. This feels so cavernous. Probably a shortcut down. Oh yes, I love that perspective shift. Oh, what is that thing? Look at it. Oh, it looks like a potato. Moves like one, too. Someone's been making so many carvings and models here. Hey, Bianca. You must have cast off for who knows where. I went back to the postal relay. Still no water. Surprise, surprise. Sowley and Foz are still sorting through everything by hand, and I've gotten roped into helping with deliveries. Me? On Pebbleback? You can imagine what a sight that is. Even I'm laughing at myself. Still, why not, huh? It's a fresh start. And I quite like seeing the world as the mail comes in. Well, it would be nicer if this damn pebble would just change course when I ask it to. I'm telling you, it's stubborn. Worse than old yum. Honestly, though, what a nightmare. Anyway, I'm going to miss the tide at this rate. I left your mail by the door. It's still down there, snuffling. Oh, there's another one! Is it running away from me? Like, if I go here, is it going to go the other way? No. It knows where it wants to hide. Is it coming out? Yeah. Oh. Poor little guy. Is that something? Don't think so. Hey, Bianca. How are things down there? I hear your boss sailed off into the horizon. Good riddance. Never liked him anyway. Things here at the hut are pretty quiet. Not many people stop by these days. A seasonal job when there are no more seasons. I'm starting to get bored. You can tell because I've started scratching letters. Tell me something to distract me, won't you? Oh, M.A., I'm so glad to hear from you. Yeah, I'm about as useful as a buoy on dry land but no surprises there. You've been gone for a while, so maybe you don't know, but everything here is closed, except for old Ennio's shop. He's still raising his chocos. Bossa tried to convince him to leave with them. 
Remember Bossa? The little terror at the back of the classroom? They got caught in quite a gale. It was amazing. No one's dared to try again since. Do you think they're going to keep you on if people stop coming by? You might be seeing more folks soon, though. I came across a classified ad. They're mounting an expedition to explore the crow's nest. I'd like that, but going off on an adventure with strangers? Ugh. Oh yeah, I heard about that. Heading for the clouds, huh? That sounds like quite something. Oh, I'd better stalk the hold. I bet they'll come this way. You know what? You should join them. Come see me, too. You don't have any excuses since you're out of a job. <laughs> It'd be a nice change from the few stray travelers that still come by. Hey, the other day, another climber got stuck at Weeping Rock Pass. I had to go fetch them. If only you could have seen them. Stupid enough to eat hay, as they say around here. Okay, it's settled. I'll be waiting for you. Hello. Oh, look at their little twisty tails. Little potato pigs. Oh, look at that. Still got a ways to go. Ooh. Can I make the jump? Will it even let me? Hmm. Maybe there's another way. Yeah, I could probably rip held down. No, definitely I could repel down. Oh, and I bring that down with my own weight. Hmm. Let me see if I can get down there this way. Yeah. This would appear to be the bathroom. I don't think I'm going to find anything of interest here. Oh, look at those little shells. I'm not sure if I want to hear those memories of the place. Oh, that's a harpoon gun. I think. And there's all the places we've been. That really is so cool that you can see them from so far away. Love that. Man, this place is in serious disrepair. I think we're almost to the top. Logbook, 12 octaves after the Jusant. 
12 octaves. Interesting. I'm finally leaving. I'm so happy I couldn't sleep a wink. At the old harbor master's office, a note caught my eye. It sounded like poetry. Expeditions to the clouds. Seeking hope and water. Join us at 12 octaves, Becca and Arlo's farm, Highfield, to journey together. After spending so long marinating and trying to find meaning in life, it'll do me good to see the world, as Emma would say. Hopefully we'll be stopping by her hut. Just the thought of seeing her again is enough to tell me I'm making the right decision. With any luck, there will be other adventurers leaving from low tide. I don't want to make my way to the meeting point with the rest of the expedition all by myself. The only time I ever left here was for the harvest festivals when I was just a small fry. So an expedition like this is no small matter. I want to set sail for the clouds. Oh no, my parents. I forgot about them. What am I going to tell them? Hey folks, I'm off on an adventure. See you around if, and only if, I make it back alive. Of course, Bianca dear, don't forget to bring snacks. Hmm. I'd better not say anything. And I should bring snacks. What else? What do people normally take on this type of trip? One thing's for sure. What's a journey without a logbook? I've got it covered. I plan to make, like the expeditions that set off for the salt plain in search of springs. I'm going to scatter my journal entries along the way for anyone who might come after us, starting with this message. Farewell, my lighthouse. You welcomed me with wonder and have kept me company as I have pondered. Too much. You've always been there for me. I'm leaving you to the weave beaks, who will watch over you from the sky. And to watch over this message, I'm leaving one of my creations. Adventure Calls. Bianca. There's the creation right next to the new. I can go up there. Yeah, I think I have to go up there. That was close. I asked Mo for help, but it's no use. The door won't budge. There's no way of knowing how its inner mechanisms work. Does it have anything to do with the lost ocean? Mo isn't much of a handyman either, but you'd think we would have been able to figure it out between the two of us. He had to weigh anchor. A date, he said. 
It's true, he did seem rather dressed up to tinker around. Rather perfumed, too. This answers my questions. I've explored you from deck to hold, and I'm still no further along than when I started. I still don't know what you could have been used for, my lighthouse. Your paintings seem to allude to water falling from the sky, but pff, that's pretty vague. Now what am I supposed to do? from here. Oh, there's a ladder right in front of me. That'll work. Oh, what does that do? Yeah, that does look like rain coming from the sky. Some sort of weather machine. I think that's to get down. Okay, what do you do? Oh my god. It's sort of like a little water bear. Kinda. It looks so squishy. Chapter 2, Migration. I was expecting it to start raining, but it just made life appear. I mean, well, there was already life here, but more life, green life. Oh, now that this has grown, we can climb up. Okay, well, this is chapter two now, and I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. I hope you've enjoyed so far. I certainly have. This is just delightful. It's absolutely lovely. And it has such interesting gameplay mechanics, unlike anything I've ever played before. It's fantastic. So, yeah, see you on the next one, Luke. <laughs> oh, hold on. I have to do a playback of that, that little, my little guy just playing around on their back. Look at him. 
Okay, see you in the next one.